Hello everyone, and this will be the homework for this week. We're going to be learning about how we learn a spoken language. Um, here we have the objectives. Uh, we're going to be, oops, sorry. We're going to be learning about the stages of language development and also why that this language development is important to reading and writing. We're going to know the structure of the English language. We're going to know the areas of the brain involved in spoken language and how that spoken language, if there's deficits, how that can impact reading. Just like last time, you can look up here in this tab and I'll tell you what notebook page to use. Okay, so let's begin. If you printed out the tab, it will already have some of this on here. If not, no big deal. We're going to be talking about just what is language. So language here, we have expressive language, receptive language. Like the directions say up here, you're going to be reading two paragraphs on the next slide. These will answer what is expressive and what is receptive language. Um, use your notebook, page 25. And here we go. So on the next page is where you'll go first. Read this. Take some notes on what is expressive and what is receptive language. When you're finished, come back to this page. So pause. Okay, now that you've finished reading, we're going to kind of check to see if you understand the concepts. So what this is saying here down the bottom is you're going to be drawing these, or if it, you printed the tab, they're already there. And then you're going to move these over. Where is reading? Is it expressive or receptive? And put them under. Okay, do that in your notebook. Um, and this will kind of show you that these down here, reading, speaking, listening, writing, are really what the ELA standards are all about. Um, these are the major components of the ELA standards. Okay, so let's move on. We talked about this the other week, that reading or speaking is natural and reading's not. So I'm going to be asking you to think, what does that mean? Speaking is natural. What does that mean? And then here, just some, again, or as it says here, just guess. It's okay if you're wrong. Be free to just um, try to give it a good try. Okay. Here's some facts about babies. I think it's amazing. Um, and that we call spoken language the great predictor of reading success. Think about that. Why is spoken language such a predictor of reading success? Okay, next we're going to go over the stages of development. How we develop language. It doesn't happen automatically overnight. So as the directions say here, you're going to use the next four slides and you're going to create a timeline on the top of these two pages in your notebook, 26 and 27. There also is an additional website if you want. This is a student of mine last semester, kind of what she wrote, but don't copy hers 
I just showed you what it would kind of look like across two pages. Okay. So on the next page, we have stages of development, newborn to six months. Next slide. Now we're going from six months to a year and a half and then to 36 months and then up to age 14. So these are different stages. You create a timeline using that information here that you think is really relevant to our topic of how we learn spoken language. For example, I might kind of think that um, can tell many speech sounds apart already as a newborn, that that's kind of a thing that is really important. This can tell different speech sounds. Um, that there's different response to speech with speech-like sounds. They're trying to mimic. Pick things out of here that you think are going to contribute later on to maybe reading or that you think are really monumental for children and developing their language. Again, you're going to be making a timeline across the top of these two pages. Okay, pause and look at the next four slides and draw your timeline. Okay, next, um, we're going to investigate the structure of language. All languages have a structure. All languages, we say, if they're a written language as well, have these on the bottom. They have a phonology, orthography, morphology, syntax, semantics and pragmatics. What you're going to do, it says on the top, that you're going to look at the next two slides after this one, and you're going to look at a chart, and you're going to use that those two next slides to learn about these six areas of language, phonology, orthography, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, and take notes on the bottom underneath the timeline on pages 26 and 27. So let's look at what we have on the next two slides. So here we have four of them. You can look at what phonology is and start learning this term because we're going to be using it a lot in this class. What is orthography? Some people also say, like if you know Spanish, um, spelling, the word that I learned is otografía, and that very much is a cognate of this word. We're going to use the word morphology a lot in this class. Learn what this is and try to start entering these vocabulary words in your head. Um, we're going to talk about what is semantics and pragmatics. These all influence our language. Okay, so what you're going to do is on the bottom of the timeline that you created from the other slides, you're going to start with these four and take notes on, or these six, and take notes on these six pieces of structure of language. Okay. Okay, pause and look at the following charts and take notes. Okay, now that you finish that, this is more of a kind of a little project that we're going to be working on. We're going to be looking at where is language in the brain? We're going to be reading an article. I want you to read an article called Anatomy of the Brain. It's in Canvas. So you'll do that first. 
when you finish this article, Anatomy of the Brain, you're going to print in Canvas. This one you're really going to need to print. It'll be much more difficult to draw these things. Two copies of this, which is also in Canvas, and cut everything out. And then when we have class on Tuesday, we're going to kind of put them together and learn about them and talk about them. Um, this is kind of a beginning. We teachers often are going to be reading articles about the science of reading, and that includes areas of the brain. So I want you to be familiar with the terminology so that it's not foreign to you. Um, so again, this is in Canvas, these sheets, and to print, actually I think it's just one copy and I put it on multiple pages and they're a little bit different. So one copy I think is fine. All right, cut these out and be ready for class on Tuesday. Thank you.